I mentioned in that prior video that enhancing Ben's is different than enhancing Zoe's. Two different processes. You always have to think because there's no single way to do things. So here's Ben's original and notice that, you know, he's, he was roughing this out in the shirt. And when you turn this off, look at the curve on the bridge, much smoother and the shirt more refined, the boat more refined. He, so he's done a lot of, a lot of work on this. Now to enhance this, this is a very different process and this is mine. Uh, I was playing around experimenting and uh, this is something that I blindly discovered and continue to use because it's so effective for certain images. So if your, your uppermost layer is not visible or there are other times that the shortcut shift option command E will not work, does not provide uh, the desired effect, you need to add a blank layer. And you know you can click on this to add a new layer. But because I'm teaching you a new shortcut, I want you to look down at the keyboard left side. Shift, Option, and Command are the three primary modifier keys on a Mac. So if I hold down Shift, Option, and Command, I'm pushing this down with my left hand, and then hit the letter N for New, I get a new layer. Then if I hold down Shift, Option, Command, E, everything that's visible on the layers below well, really, on any layer, this could be in the middle. All visible elements in this Photoshop document are combined. So it's like flattening all the layers, but you're not destroying your work. Shift, Option, Command, E. You might as well pull out a pencil and paper because the shortcuts have only started, and I'm not going to take this slowly. Because the process, if you start using this, you're going to use it again and again and again and again. So... Here we go. Command A selects all. See the marching ants around the outside? Command C copies. Command N says, give me a new document. And I'm going to call this fall demo, OK? Because I don't want to overwrite my other files. And I'll click OK. Then I've got information on my clipboard. Command V to paste. It's got two layers. For this to work, we, have to, we need only one layer. Command E merges down. Command S to save my fall demo file. I'm going to hit return. Now we're in business. So I'm going to hit Command W. Close that file. And then here's an extra one. Command D to deselect that selection. Now this is the original file. We're not going to mess with this. We're going to work on our demo file. So Command O to open. We go to our uh, fall demo. There it is. And we don't open it. Click on options. Click on format. Select camera raw. Hit return to open. This is different. And if this opens up small, give yourself a better view of what you're working on. Holy moly, what is all this stuff? And if you think this is a lot, look here. These are all different channels. I'm not going to take you through all of this. I'm going to show you what I discovered through experimentation. Clarity. Don't do anything else first. Well, you can always click on auto just to see what happens. Ah! <laughs> okay. Sometimes it's fabulous. Sometimes it's Ah, <laughs> and you just click back on default. So I'm going to come down to clarity and just to see what happens, I'm going to drag it all the way to the right. Now, what happened? We can go right here's the split view. Do you want to see what's going on? You get a lot of different versions to look at. So with the clarity drug all the way up, and are we getting a weird artifact here that's not really there? There we go. Um, 
So it was all different ways of seeing before and after. And that's what that artifact was. So, and then vibrance. And I don't always leave this on 100, you know, pull it back. You find the sweet spot, but I kind of like it out here somewhere. And notice the glow around the legs. There will be, sometimes I'll repeat this process three or four times. Every image is different. Some can't handle it at all. Some like it only once. Take vibrance and we'll pump it up just a, just a little. And I almost never touch saturation because it can overload the color. Then lots of different sliders. Now, these are warm colors, but I think for contrast, I'd like this to be a little colder. We just pull that temperature over a little bit. Then there's a darkening that happens with clarity. So bumping the whites up, see how that's changing oh so subtly. And then maybe the highlights a little bit. Now, remember curves in Photoshop? This is curves on steroids. We have broken down the lightest, the lights, the darks, and the darkest. Now, we can form our little S-curve. We can play around with this, play around with these sliders. Don't go crazy. And trying to find where our sweet spot is. And yeah, we've darkened the pants and the boat a little much. So remember, we can always mask and let the original image show through. So, and you can play and play and play. This is sharpening. For an image like this, we're not going to use sharpening. That's not uh, going to come into play here because it would not help us. And then by default, you're on hue in this fourth channel, the HSL grayscale. Now, you can cause a lot of damage with hue and saturation, but they also have power sometimes. For this process, jump over to luminance, and now you can fine tune individual colors. So, notice how that's only affecting the yellows. And yeah, <laughs> some bad things can happen. Same thing with the oranges. You know, what do you want to do? Notice how that bridge is barely changing at all. So you've got some real power here. And remember, when you bring it back into Photoshop and you use masks and dodge and burn layers, you have far more control. Now we could go on and on and I could, you know, show you a lot of different things uh, in this panel. But for right now, I just want to open this image. And it's going to open in a new Photoshop window. And now I'm going to save it. And it asked me what I want to name it. I'm going to click on that zero file. And it's going to say, hey, you already got a zero file. You want to overwrite it? Yeah. I want to overwrite this thing again and again and again. Now, I want to open up my fall demo. I don't have that open, right? No, I don't. So Commando, to open up my my, uh, there it is, fall demo. I can double click it and it'll open. And then I need to see my tabs for this next one to work. I made it F, it goes full screen. There are things you can do here that are really cool. Hit F again and I'm back to my tabs. Here's my zero. Here's fall demo. You have to have the move tool for this to work. On the zero, I'm going to click and hold the mouse button down come up to fall demo. I'm still holding the mouse button down. Bring this down. Now you have to hold down shift. Let go of the mouse button, but not shift until that's been pasted. Shift says drop this directly in the center. So now there's our original. Here's our enhanced version. And like I said, dodge and burn layers, masks, all kinds of things because you can reveal what's underneath this. And you can also work with the opacity and change uh, this to show uh, how, um, well, you can play with the opacity to do lots of things. So I'm going to stop rambling now, stop this video and just say, that's only the beginning of this process, but you can get startling effects 
with those techniques.